This right here is the smallest fluid head on the market. Welcome back AFAM. For those of you who are new, my name is Kitty and on this channel I do gear reviews. And if you're new here, I would love to know where you're from with a comment below. Manfrotto Be Free Fluid Head Basic Stats. It weighs under 4 pounds. Women hold babies in their womb heavier than that. The total payload is just under about 9 pounds. It comes in a variety of colors, a carbon fiber version if you're rich or bouge. Just kidding, I wish I had carbon fiber everything. And it also comes with a ball head if you're solely shooting this for photography. This right here is the original aluminum fluid head version. I also have links in the description box below for everything I just talked about. Kitty breaks the laws of continuity in three, two, one. Okay, cardboard. Oh my god, it's so small. That is it, that is literally it. <laughs> It's so cute, oh my god. Cause you know, I buy gear if it's cute or not. Video tripods have gotten tiny, cameras have gotten tiny, drones have gotten tiny, everything. So let's see. <gasps> Look at how small it is. This is a joke, right? Look at how tiny this fluid tripod is. The quick plate on this is actually the same quick plate that you use with other standard Manfrotto's. It is the exact same. Allen wrench, different type of Allen wrench. An adapter for bigger threads. General instructions and warranty, etc., etc. That's that. I mean, it's a tripod, so. I bought the Benro S2 video tripod for the same reasons I bought the B Free. It gave me the freedom that my professional Manfrotto tripod didn't offer me. However, the Benro is not fluid. So fluid heads differ because they offer tension in the smoothness and the tilt action. It's impressive to have a fluid head of this size, however, you still can't really compare it to the professional line of bigger fluid heads. The smoothness and the sturdiness is not really 100%, especially when you extend the center collar all the way up with a telephoto lens. So don't sell that bulkier tripod just yet. But comparing this tripod to ones that are similar, the good bits are that it won't slip because of these rubber footsies, the clasps are great and foolproof unlike twist locks, the rubber hand grip is also nicely made. There are three settings on the legs, inverted, low, and standard. This is how you adjust the leveling ball and the locking ring. The highest height of the B3 reaches 60 inches versus 17 inches being the lowest. I wanted to speed test how long it would take me to set up and break down. We're gonna stop watch it and see if anyone can beat me. Game on. Ready, setto, go. Hold 25 seconds, 25, boom. I'm sorry that got really weird, really fast. Anyways, let's set this back up and see if I can get that 25. I doubt it because breaking down is just so much easier, but we'll give it a shot. Ready, set, go. Go. Man, I felt like I went so much slower with this one. Packed down and inverted, the size is only 16 inches. As you already know, it comes with this case and doesn't take up a lot of space. It's easy to fly with or throw in a backpack. I just wish the strap was a little longer so it's easier to throw over your shoulder. For best uses with this tripod, definitely mirrorless DSLR users, um, travelers most importantly, YouTubers, interviews, you can get away with some time lapses, landscape photography, and especially when you don't want to call attention to yourself. You little creepy ninjas. 
I'm talking about you. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. My name is Kitty. Don't forget to share some love with a thumbs up if you like more video content, and I'll see you next time. Mm, it's done. Hello. Hello, hello. Boom! Under 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that, shall we? It's not that type of channel. Hope I didn't creep you out too much. Don't unfollow me. Please don't unfollow me.